Okay, guys. Don Brown here, Mr. Too Easy. America. So you know how I like to give little analogies, okay? So this is what I want you to think about, okay? Um, on the uh, taking out of Salami, whatever his name is, and the impeachment. So of our president, Donald Trump. So imagine you being on a, let's say a football team, because everybody wants football. So imagine you, you're on a football team and you have like, um, let's say you have a, a star quarterback, okay? And the quarterback leads the team. That's what he do. He leads the team. He's the face of the team. Okay, so our president is the face of the United States. You know, and he's a firm believer in protecting the United States. So, of course, so say you have some linebackers, okay? Because linebackers protect the quarterback, okay? So, let's just say the linebackers are the Senate, okay, at this point. Let's say the wide receivers and the tight ends, the wide receivers and the running backs are um, the Congress, okay? So imagine, you know, this quarterback uh, want to get traded to another team. So, of course, the running backs and the wide receiver is going to talk bad about him, okay? So it gets back to, you know, the, the, the lineman. It gets back to the quarterback, and he says, I'm just going to do my job the best I can do it. I don't care what they say about me, okay? So other teams see this, Okay? So in this scenario, the other teams are other countries. So they say, man, they all in disarray. The running backs and the wide receivers don't even want, they're not even cooperating with the quarterback. Okay, so now the quarterback go ahead and make a star play. Okay, running the ball himself. Boom, makes a touchdown. So the wide receivers and the um, running backs are pissed off. Oh, he shouldn't have done that. He shouldn't have done that. Instead of saying, you know what? I'm glad he did this. I'm glad he scored one for the team. So, so when, when, when I think of stuff like that, I think of, okay, so these other countries are seeing us, when I say us, the United States in disarray, because we even have elected officials in Congress saying, oh, the president shouldn't have done this, the president shouldn't have done this. So that's dividing us even more. So if I was another country, or on another team, because of the scenarios football team, you know what? Let's go ahead and hit them where it hurts. Let's do some surprise things. Instead of having a strong front. You know what? No matter if you like the quarterback or not, if you're you know, if you're on the team, you're on the team. You know, whether you like the president or not, if the president do something and you say, okay, maybe he shouldn't have done it but we can see why he did it, then go ahead and support him. You can still go ahead and do your impeachment process. You can still do all this stuff. But when you show that we're not together, when other countries see us, they say, you know what? They're broken. Oh, they're weak now. Because they don't know our process. So if, when people keep saying, oh, he's impeached, he's impeached, impeached, but yet he goes to work every day, he's still doing stuff. But other countries see it as, oh, Guess what? Donald Trump is no longer the president. They're weak. Let's let's start planning things. And that's that's exactly what's happening. So it's not the fault of the president. No. In my opinion, it's the fault of Congress. Because they kept pushing this narrative, pushing this narrative, pushing this narrative, pushing this narrative. And it's making the United States look weak. Because we're not even we're not even one strong front. We're over here, we're over there. So imagine if another country was doing that. We'd be like, oh man, they're weak. You know what? Now let's get in there and do this. Guys, you have to think, you have to be mentally strong. You know, do research. Stop just looking at these memes and seeing these little tidbits that the, that the, the media is putting out there. Do the real research. Google is at your fingertips. YouTube is at your fingertips. Everything is at your fingertips. Don't just look at one thing and say, oh, this is the gospel. Look at multiple things. When I do research, I read books, I read magazines, and I also do stuff online to see what's out there. I also fact check it. Okay? Come on, people. 
you know what? Maybe it's just me. We need to get back to being one team, one fight. Maybe all, maybe because I'm in the military, I was in the military, you know, army of one, one team, one fight. If one messed up, we all messed up. But we support that mess up. That's what you do. <sighs> I pray for all you guys. I pray for every congressman, every elected official, every senator, every city council member, everybody. Because that's what we need right now. We need to be band together. Because this is ridiculous. It really is. It's ridiculous. It has to stop. Hey, guys. You can share, like, subscribe, do whatever you want to. But at the end of the day, be registered to vote. Find a political party that follows your views. Do research on the candidate. And use that right to vote. Because no matter what race you are, let me tell you something. Somebody fought, somebody died for their right to vote. No matter what sex you are, somebody fought, somebody died for their right to vote. Use it. Don't be a complainer, but you don't go out to vote. Please don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You know, and um, that's all I have to say. You know, America, be mentally strong, physically strong, socially strong, and spiritually strong. So until next time, guys, it's Don Brown. I'm out. Peace.